former Prime Minister Imran Khan called on the powerful Pakistani military establishment to end its unconstitutional political role. Mr. Khan, speaking to journalists inside Ardiala Jail, where he has been incarcerated now for nearly a year, said, quote, The army belongs to Pakistan, not to PMLN and PPP. The army standing with the Form 47 government is detrimental to the country, the economy, and democracy, unquote. Mr. Khan added that the political parties want the armed forces to do their bidding by using it to eliminate PTI. Mr. Khan also said he would file a case against the army rangers who abducted him from inside the court premises on May 9, 2023. Pakistan's authoritarian regime continued its reign of terror against members of former Prime Minister Imran Khan's political party. Scores of social media volunteers of the party were abducted over the weekend in raids throughout the country. PTI's social media team has been praised globally for its innovative political messaging, but Pakistan's military-backed government has sought to crush the robust wing of the party. The Secretary General of the party, Omar Ayub, condemned the arrests, saying, quote, These are the moves of a defeatist and unhinged mindset. Prime Minister Imran Khan's and PTI's narrative will prevail, inshallah. The status quo forces will be consigned to the dustbin of history." Unquote. An accountability court in Rawalpindi on Monday extended PTI founder Imran Khan and his wife Bushra Bibi's physical remand for 10 days in the frivolous, politically motivated Tosha Khana case. A similar accountability case related to the Tosha Khana, or state gift repository, was previously thrown by the High Court. The Pakistani authoritarian regime has placed dozens of cases against Imran Khan and his wife in a bid to continue their illegal incarceration. The hearing today was held inside the jail premises, where Mr. Khan and Bushra Bibi are being held in solitary confinement. While religious and smaller political parties hold rallies and sit-ins blocking the roads and highways of the Pakistani capital, Pakistan's largest political party, the PTI, continues to be denied permission. The district administration, which has previously been held in contempt by the High Court, cited economic activity being disrupted by protest rallies. PTI has postponed numerous rallies after being denied permission. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan today condemned the denial and announced that his party would hold a rally on the border of Khyber Bakhtunkhwa and Punjab, inviting caravans from all over the country. There are fears that the occupational Israeli forces' genocidal war in Gaza will expand regionally as tensions rise with Lebanon. Israeli drone attacks have reportedly killed two people in southern Lebanon as conflict spirals between the bordering states. Anticipating Israeli counterattacks, Hezbollah and its affiliated groups evacuated some positions in parts of Lebanon and Syria that could be a target. The AFP news agency reported quoting a source close to the Lebanese group. Major airlines have suspended flights to Lebanon while warning its citizens to leave the country.